Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and today's video we will gonna discuss run length encoding. Right, this is a most popular interview questions or you can say coding ground questions for different different uh, product based companies. So uh, mostly it will be asked in Goldman Sachs corporate round. Okay, uh, so we'll discuss this uh, uh, this algorithm and that coding with uh, Java implementation, right? So moving forward, uh, let me tell you that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side, right? So you will not miss any uh, any update from my side, right? So this is my channel, and here a lot of Git videos are there, and uh, CRUD operation videos are there, and JUnit code coverage and uh, different uh, algorithms and uh, logical questions videos are there so if you are really interested you can watch those videos as well right so let's start uh, let's start today's topic right so what exactly this uh, run length encoding and uh, how, what we need to perform from this one right so if you see here suppose a a and v b b c again a a and d so this is one string uh, we uh, given to you and you need to write that output for this one like like this a how many times two times sorry a how many times two times b how many times three times c how many times one time a again two time d again one time right so we need to uh, put the we need to print the output like this or we need to return the output like this right so this is known as run length encoding and uh, uh, most popularly in goldman sachs uh, interview or coder paid round we will uh, you will get this uh, question right so uh, uh, let's start so how we'll solve this program right so how we'll gonna achieve this one okay so how we'll gonna achieve this one first let's let's compare these two okay these two element right so let's take a count as a one count equal to one initially and if we'll consider these two adjacent elements if both the characters are same then we'll increase the count one more time okay so, okay we are done right both are same so we are increasing the count one now again with this element let's compare this element are both the characters are same no right so what we need to do we need to print a is two times right then again this is one group okay again we need to compare from this element from this element to this element right or index if you consider zero this is zero index this is uh, this is zero index this is one in three index this is two this is three so again we need to we need to compare three index to four index right so here again we need to compare if both the elements are same or not right so both the elements are same right so if you consider here what is the count initially count equal to one and if you come if you compare these two these two again i am doing these two then we'll increase the count as a one right and again we need to compare with this one to this one so how many count again we need to increase the count as a one right then again we need to compare here to here this element to this element are both are same this element to this element are both are same no so that time b is how how many times three times right so again one more so again with this element we need to compare this element so initially count equal to one right we need to compare this element are both are same no right so c is one time right so again let's take count as a one and we need to compare this one to this one this one to this one right so it's present 
both are same so count initially is, is the one then we need to plus one so how many how many uh, a's are there so two times right so here a is two times right so again let's count as a one so from here to here we need to compare right so is both the characters same no right so that time d is one time count is one right so if you see here so how we'll implement this one let me write some snippet of code so let's take count as a one then what we need to do while if this string is str str dot care at i is equal to equal to str dot care at care at i plus one okay so that time what we need to do we need to count plus plus and this i also we need to increase right okay and here we have done then oh, let's do some sys out str dot csa care at i and here sys out or we can have a a string buffer we can append string buffer builder we can append and count right so here what is the character we are printing and how many uh, how many times it's repeated that count we are printing over here right so if you consider this snippet of code so this will work for a starting starting group right only for this particular if you consider here only for this particular these two and for this l for this for this and this one like this grouping for this group that will applicable right but it will not print that entire one if you consider over here let's uh, let's do a dry run so first a right suppose we have started initially i is equal to zero then str dot care uh, care of care at of zero is one is equal to equal to str dot care at zero plus one one so zero index and one index we are checking both are same right then we are we are counting uh, we are increase the counter to uh, one so now count is plus one is equal to two then we are increase the increasing this index or i right so like this we need to do so if you see this while loop is only applicable for this particular group grouping right this will not this will not uh, i mean this will not will not get the output with this code so how we'll do this one we need to have some for loop so for int i is equal to 0 i less than str dot length then i plus plus okay then then again the same thing count is equal to one and here that while loop while loop str dot care at i is equal to equal to str dot care at i plus one right and the same thing count plus plus i plus plus and here whatever you do either print or you can append suppose suppose we have declared on a string buffer sb is a string buffer sb dot append here str dot caret i and sb dot append of count 
right so this is that entire program now let's uh, write this program with some ide then we'll gonna see whether it's working or not right hope you got a idea about this one now let's uh, run this program already i have opened my intellij idea so let's create a class run length encoding okay and uh, let's have some main method and let's uh, type dot program public string do encode we'll have static okay and here we need to pass that string string sorry string str right so here what we'll do we'll have some for loop and i is equal to 0 i less than str dot length i plus plus and here let's take int count equal to 1 and while so here some problem we'll see then we'll find that solution what we'll do okay str dot care caret i is equal to equal to str dot caret i plus 1 then count plus plus i plus plus okay so let's have some string buffer over here string buffer string buffer builder anything you take um, string buffer and equal to new string buffer okay and here we need to append vf of append append of str dot caret caret i and one more at count we need to append right this count okay so here we have done and here we need to return return bf dot to string we're returning string right so this is string buffer that's why then let's call this method and we'll gonna see what was problem is there any problem or we are gonna uh, let's do a sysout system dot out system dot out dot println then here we need to call do n code so let's have this one a a a three times then b then c double c again a then again b right so here we go let's print this one let's run this one okay uh, so uh, this is run length encoding so we are calling this do encode method then this string uh, is passing over here and after this uh, after here we are or a, 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 a index out of bound exception why this is happening let me tell you right so here what we are doing right index with we are comparing index and its next index right suppose here it's zero here the index is zero means if you consider here this is the index zero means we are comparing zero to one with one right so now let's see over here suppose what is the index over here uh, suppose this is zero this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is 6, this is 7 and this is 8. Now consider at last we have compared these two. Right. These two we have compared. Are both are same? No. Right. Are both are same? No. Right. So we are printing. If our, if our element is now at 8th index, then index plus 1 i plus 1 how many how much here 9 so it will compare with 8th to 9th index 
that's why we are getting this problem so how we'll solve this problem so here we need to do i is less than this string length minus one and we will uh, end operator right so this should be like this now let's run over here and we'll gonna see it's running okay the problem got solved hope you understand here this one right so how, why we are doing this one i is less than length minus one why why we have done this one right so this is that uh, entire run length encoding with explanation and with working example running code so hope uh, uh, hope this video will be really helpful to people right so please do do like share and definitely comment in the comment section so that it will boost my energy to uh, to do some more videos like this right so uh, thank you for watching have a nice day